Welcome to TBN. I'm Lydia Vermillion. We hope you're having a great week so far. First up is a new segment with Mrs. Burroughs. Good morning. I'm Ms. Burroughs, the assistant principal here at Pryor High School, and um, I have kind of a fun segment coming up that I'm going to be doing called Burroughs Buildups, and I just want to let you guys know kind of what that is. Um, once a month, I'm going to recognize a student who has um, gone above and beyond, improved um, in attendance, behavior, grades, all of the above, or a student that maybe exhibits leadership qualities and character, integrity, um, shows that they will help and include others. So any kind of student like that. Um, so teachers keep emailing me um, students that you recognize these characteristics in them. Um, that will help me out a lot. I'm also going to recognize a teacher every month. Um, teachers that do everything that we ask them to do here at the building. They do it with positivity. Um, cares about the students, cares about the student's success, um, and just really helps out a lot here. So students, you can feel free also to email me if you have a teacher that you would like to nominate for this. So follow me, we're gonna go celebrate with the student and the teacher for the month of October. Hello, all. I am here to celebrate a student, and that student is Tommy Cook. Tommy, will you get up here so I can give you this awesome gift for... I'm celebrating you, Tommy, because you had a, some struggles last year, right? Yes, ma'am. But you set some goals this year, mm -hmm. and you've set your mind to it. You've achieved those goals. You, he, Tommy's finished five classes this semester, and he's on track to graduate. So that is awesome. I'm very proud of you, so I want to celebrate you. So this is for you. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Keep up the good work, though, okay? Okay. I got some more candy. Got my Dr. Pepper. This is probably the big gift. I know. Walgreens gift card. No, it's McDonald's. McDonald's? $15 McDonald's card. From from well, that's where I bought it. <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Yeah. Good job, Tommy. Yeah. Keep up the good work. I am here to celebrate your teacher, Miss Katie Hendrickson. Um, so I'm doing a new segment. We're celebrating a teacher and a student, and um, I'm celebrating Miss Hendrickson this month. And I'm going to actually have to read all the things that she has done because there's so many. <laughs> um, first of all. Uh, her students all but two scored three or higher on the AP exams, and there were several that took it. That's like a huge exceptional thing. Um, she has grown the AP and the concurrent program. She has led for instructional rounds in our building. Um, she is on the adult lead team, and she's also allowed the teaching and learning um, people to come in and observe and use techniques and learn techniques from in here. Um, also, I just want to share a quote from a student that we heard leaving your room one day said, I just love her. She believes in me and makes me think I can do this. So, so I'm celebrating Miss Hendrickson. So oh this is for nice. you. So nice. Thank, Thank you for you. all you do. Yes. <laughs> and you can go ahead and open it if you want, because I think they want a video of it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to open the card right now, yeah. Yes. She's <laughs> Cake Factory and there's a love that she's Cake Factory. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations, Tommy and Miss Hendrickson. If you have anyone you would like to nominate, please email Mrs. Burroughs. Let's see what lead team is up to with Veterans Day approaching and the special jerseys the football team will be wearing tomorrow night. Hi, I'm Nikki, and today I'm here with John Whipple. So what has football and lead team put together for this week's senior night? So tomorrow will be senior night, and we're going to be wearing uh, 
veteran jerseys and these jerseys we got sponsors out at Mid America and the Cherokee Nation and they sponsored these jerseys and they'll have a veteran's name on the back and we're going to have a auction from first quarter to halftime and that auction is going to be for anyone that wants to buy these jerseys and we're going to give them away to whoever the highest bidder is and all proceeds will go to the blue star moms group okay and i heard there was ha they're having a veterans parade so what um details do you have about that so in the veterans parade you'll see the high school football team be wearing these jerseys um, that way you can see them out in the community um, and the lead team will be in the parade also who was the ones that headed up this idea in these jerseys um, we'll just go through try to wave at people maybe throw out candy i don't know but we'll see when will buyers be able to get their jerseys uh, they'll receive the jerseys the week of the 11th after the parade Awesome. And who does football play this week for senior night? We play Tulsa Memorial. Everyone needs to come out and support. Um, go Tigers. Next up, let's see what Mrs. Brown's leadership class is doing for this year's toy drive. Hi, I'm Reagan, and I'm here with two of Miss Brown's leadership students, and we're going to be talking about the toy drive that's coming up. So what is the toy drive? So our toy drive, um, we are actually going to be starting it today, and it's going to be lasting till December 9th. Um, so the thing is, it's really going towards foster foster kids, and we are going to require all teachers to at least bring one toy. It has to be new and unopened. And where do the toys need to go to get dropped off? At Miss Brown's room, room number 147. Thank you. Let's catch up on our sports news with Nikki. Thanks, Lydia. I'm Nikki, your sports broadcaster. Ball sports at Pryor are wrapping up with volleyball losing in the regional after an adrenaline-filled five-set battle against Sepulpa. We ended our season 14-15 and made history with a three-year program. Softball ended their season winning their last game in the 5A state championship. They worked hard and faced adversity, never backing down. Congratulations to our state champions, which are our guests this week in our segment in the booth. Hi, I'm Nikki, and today I'm here with Kaylee, Remy, Zariah, Nevaeh, and I'm going to be asking them a couple questions um, about how softball went this year. So, what made this team special this year? I think all of us were like just like connected really good, and we all had like the same mindset of like we wanted to win and nothing else. I think everyone's ability to pick each other up when um, people weren't playing as good and had errors, just we picked each other up really well. Um, I honestly think it was just the bond that we had, like we had no problems throughout the season and it was just like we were all just friends, we were all there together. Yeah, I agree, our bond was really good. <laughs> Who is the best leader of the group? Oh, um... Probably like our juniors like Kinsey and Akaya because they they've been there for three years and they just like picked everybody up and kind of told like us what to do when we didn't know. Yeah, I would say Kinsey and Akaya too. Me too. Same, and I also think that McKenna was a pretty good leader oh, too yes, at times. Yes. Yeah, she would like mess up and we would mess up and she like understood and was like, it's okay, just she like picked us up too. What are some good leadership qualities? Um, just like picking each other up. Like no one got mad at each other for making an error. It was just simply move on to the next play. We'll be fine. Okay, and then here's some fun questions. Who is most likely to show up late to practice? Nevaeh. <laughs> Kenzie. <laughs> Peyton. Mm, I would say... Mm, Kenzie. Who is most likely to forget something on a road trip? <laughs> Peyton. Nevaeh. Um, probably Peyton, because she underpacks. She does not pack, like, what, over the thing. I think Zariah, because sometimes she, like, well, she thinks she forgets something, but it's really, like, lost, because she forgot her Lululemon bag. Well, she thought she did, but it was under her seat the whole time. So I think it would be Zariah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to make Coach Looney mad? Me. Me. <laughs> yeah, definitely Kaylee. <laughs> definitely Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee and Bailey. Oh, Kaylee. <laughs> and who is most likely to steal your snack? 
<laughs> probably either Nevea or Peyton. Yeah, probably Peyton. Well, I was gonna say probably like Kenzie, because I always see her eating Nevea's tacos before practice. Yeah, she always be stealing my talk. Kenzie! <laughs> yeah, Kenzie. <laughs> Thank you guys. Today I'm here with McKenna Yancey. Taylor Vance. Kota Taylor. Peyton Jackson. Okay, so what made this team special this year? I think all the bond we had, like, we worked good <laughs> together as a team. Yeah, I think how, like, good we worked together and how everybody just wanted to win and stuff. Who is the best leader of the group? I would say either Akaya or Peyton. Yeah, I'll probably have to go with Akaya because she's really good at, like, keeping everyone in line and still having fun. Akaya or Peyton? Akaya. What are some good leadership qualities? <clears throat> we pick each other up, like I said before, and we just work together. We want to win so much, so we work good. I think a good leadership quality would be like being able to pick each other up without like getting mad and stuff. Being able to pick each other up and having each other's backs. Same thing as them. <laughs> Who is most likely to show up late to practice? Kinsey or Peyton? Kinsey or Peyton? Peyton. <laughs> um, who is most likely to forget something on a road trip? Kinsey. Yeah, Kinsey or Peyton. Kinsey. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to make Coach Looney mad? Kaylee and Bailey. Kaylee and Bailey. Kaylee. Kaylee. Who is most likely to steal your snack? Freaking Kinsey, bro. Peyton. Peyton. Me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody takes one. <laughs> Who is the most talented on the team? And I don't mean in softball, but like singing, dancing, rapping. <laughs> who's, who's the most talented? Nora. 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 Thank you guys. I'm here with Akaya, Kenzie, Brooklyn. So, what made the team special this year? Um, I'm going to say just us being a young team, but being very successful and stuff. Like, everybody wanting to win and everybody wanting to compete every single day at practice. I feel like everyone worked a lot better together this year. Who is the best leader of the group? I'd say, I'd say all of us older people, because we had to like step up and help the younger ones. Yeah, I would say like a lot of the juniors because majority of the people that were that started and stuff weren't here. So. I say Kenzie, Kyra, or Kenna. They all. Um, what are some good leadership qualities? Um, a lot of it's just like stepping up for younger ones and like giving a good example of what should be shown. Leading by example and doing like having a great attitude at practice every single day and showing up and knowing when to talk someone up and encourage them. I'd say picking someone up whenever something goes wrong or they need it. Okay, and now some fun questions. Who is most likely to show up late to practice? Me. Uh, me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who is most likely to forget something on a road trip? Mm, I'm gonna say Bailey. Um, Bailey for sure. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Who's most likely to make Coach Looney mad? Um, I'm gonna say I don't know. No one really made him mad. <laughs> Kaylee Kerr. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Who's most likely to steal your snack? I'm gonna say Kinsey. Sometimes you ask. Remy, bro. Remy. Uh, Kenzie. <laughs> okay, and last question. So we all know that you guys are very talented on the field, but who is the most talented off the field? Um, in singing, dancing, rapping, who do you think is the most talented? Nora Joyce. Obviously me and Remy, because we <laughs> have a pretty good rap. Mm -hmm. Can we hear it? Um, no, that's, uh, that's you, you, it's like a in-person experience. Like, you would have to you be with us. Nora Joyce all the way. Just a little preview. Kinsey and Remy. Kinsey and Remy. <laughs> no. okay. Thank you. <laughs>
Cross country girls and boys both qualified for state last weekend and compete this weekend at Edmond Santa Fe. Last Friday night, Pryor football team won 37-36 versus Collinsville after battling the whole game. They are now seated number two in the district and have a high chance at being district champions. This Friday night is senior night versus Tulsa Memorial, and next week they are off to Dell City to win the district title. As fall sports are ending, three of our winter sports are just beginning, with basketball, swim, and wrestling starting to pick up. We can't wait to watch the upcoming events. Good luck to those competing, and go Tigers! Congratulations to softball and good luck to cross country and football as they finish out their seasons. Next up, we have a new competition for our Tiger Time classes. Let's go to Jeremiah for more. Hi, I'm Jeremiah and I'm here with a couple of students who are starting a new organization here at PHS. We are part of the Change Starts With Me organization. We're a student-led group of students trying to spread positivity and get community service within the student body. Are there any new projects that you guys are working on currently? Yes, actually. We're going to start a thing called Tingo, which is Tiger Time Bingo. And each Tiger Time is going to get handed out, and you're going to try and black out the card. And the first Tiger Time to complete all of them gets a special prize and an announcement at an assembly. When is this, pro uh, when is this going to start? The papers will be handed out either the end of this week or next week, and just whoever the first class is to get it blacked out wins. Okay. Thank you guys for talking to us. Now for our upcoming weather for the week. Winds are picking up and temperatures are dropping. Storms are coming. Fires too. We're doomed. Finally, question of the week. I'm Maggie. And our question this week is, how old do you think is too old to trick or treat? I'm going to do Coach first. I'm here with. I'm here with. Who are you here with? I don't know this young lady. <laughs> you got oh, What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. Coach Osborne. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? Uh, 12. Are you going to trick or treat? I haven't been 12 in a long time. <laughs> All right, thanks. I'm with Leah. And how old do you think is too old to trick or treat? I would say 13 or preteen. Are you trick or treating? Yes, because my foreign exchange sister is making me. <laughs> Peyton. Peyton. Cody. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? 18. 40. 40? Are y'all trick or treating? Y'all trick or treating together? How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? To trick or treat? I'd say like 13, 14. Are you trick or treating? No. <laughs> All right. No, I'm, not. <laughs> I'm with Carly Bennett. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? Um. Never, because in college you're going to do it with all your friends. You're going to trick or treat in college? Yeah, I mean, they're going to have, like, things whenever you're in a sorority, so they're going to have all trick or treat stuff, and then right after that you're going to have a kid, so you're going to have to go trick or treating anyway, so never. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm with... Clinton Stoller. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? Nineteen. Are you going to go trick or treating? Uh, yes. Thank you. I'm with... Zacchaeus. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? Not really an age limit. It's just as long as you're having fun. Are you going to go trick or treating? Probably not. Thank you. I'm with... Michael Bruner. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? Um, 21. Are you going to trick or treat? Probably. Okay, thanks. I'm here with... Fred Flintstone. Alright, I don't think that's true. <laughs> How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? How old is too old for what? To trick or treat. Are you ever too old? Oh, are you going to trick or treat? Shoot you. Yeah. What are you going to be for Halloween? Fred Flintstone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm with... Mox. How old do you think is too
too old to trick or treat? 97. Are you trick or treating? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Dr. Ellsman. How old do you think is too old to trick or treat? How old? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'll say 17. 17. 17's cross the line. Are you gonna trick or treat? No. I'll take the kids. Okay. I've got five little ones, so we'll take them. Out. Are you dressing up? No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to TBN. If you have anything that you would like featured on TBN in the future, please contact a TBN member or coach head. Everyone have a safe and happy Halloween.